For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And here's the question. Solve for the value of x given that 6 factorial factorial over 3 factorial factorial equals x factorial. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, the main goal in this question is to solve for the value of x that satisfies this equation 6 factorial factorial over 3 factorial factorial. To answer this question, what we're going to do first is to recall what is a factorial. So, a factorial must be equal to or n factorial equals to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all the way up to 3 times 2 times 1, or the product of all natural numbers less than or equal to the value of n. Using this definition, we can say that this 6 factorial must be equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, if we multiply these numbers, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, we get a value of 720. So we can say that 6 factorial must be equal to 720. Now, how about 3 factorial? Now, 3 factorial, based on the definition, it is equivalent to just 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 times 2 times 1, this will give us a value of 6. Therefore, we can replace the 6 factorial as 720. And we can replace this 3 factorial as 6 because the value of 3 factorial must be equal to 6. So we have now 720 factorial over 6 factorial equals x factorial. Now notice that the denominator of our equation must be equal to 6 factorial, and we have the value for 6 factorial. So 6 factorial is 720. Therefore, the denominator of our equation can be replaced by 720 because 6 factorial is just 720, like this. We have now 720 factorial over 720 equals x factorial, of course. Now, another definition of n factorial must be equal to this thing. Now, take note n factorial must be equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 all the way up to 1. But this thing right here, n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 1 must be equal to just n minus 1 factorial. So we can say that another definition of n factorial must be equal to just n multiplied by just n minus 1 factorial. So the numerator 720 factorial can be written as 720 times 719 factorial based on this definition. So we can now cancel out 720 on the numerator and on the denominator. So this will give us 719 factorial equals x factorial. This tells us that the value of x must be 719. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, if we have 6 factorial factorial over 3 factorial factorial equals x factorial, then the value of x must be equal to 719. And as always, we are done.